In science and tech this week, engineers turned on Skynet and then pushed it over. The Milky Way took a galactic selfie. And tomorrow, Scott Kelly will reappear from space after winning a year-long game of hide-and-seek. I found you! Oh, you got me! Boston Dynamics released a new video showing their latest robot. Hmm. Stop pushing over robots. Boston Dynamics, please take some inspiration from these people. The European Space Observatory posted the largest picture ever taken of the Milky Way and posted it to their Facebook page and it got a whole bunch of likes and a few sad faces. How can you be sad about a photo of the Milky Way? It hasn't done anything to you. You've never been there. You can't say that it's terrible. Oh, I got there and my room wasn't ready. No, you're not doing it. It's ridiculous. Stop doing sad faces to the Milky Way. You make it upset. The photo was taken using the 12 meter apex telescope with 187 million megapixels for resolution. Rumors are this camera will feature on the iPhone 7. Publishing houses are fighting to buy the rights to this image, hoping to create the largest and most complex edition of Where's Wally. You will literally never find him. Spoiler alert. He's on a beach on Alpha Centauri under a little umbrella. He's just He's in there. After spending a year on the International Space Station, Scott Kelly will soon be returning to Earth after finally being awarded silver status on NASA's Frequent Flyer program. NASA made Scott a video showing what's happened on Earth over the past year. After viewing the political section, he's decided to stay in space for the next four years. Fun fact, Scott had to drink 193 gallons of water made from recycled urine. This is exactly the same as drinking 193 gallons of Fosters. Thank you, bye, bye bye. But I also love filmmaking and that was kind of my dream dream was to make films about science. Ed, where are you? Hello, Gray. I'm in the future, the year 2035.